what's up everybody welcome back to dawn and dreams um i hope that you enjoyed that little intro thank you latte for your drumming <laughs> so he's getting out of here um i did that to shift energy so i'm very thankful for him uh to be able to do that for me um and now let's go ahead and We can get our native flute going. But the African drums are so powerful because they really can shift your energy. They send messages. So that was beautiful. Anyway, <laughs> let me see where I'm at with this because I know I was doing that. Okay. All right. <laughs> I want to make sure everything's on point with me recording. Um, anyway, welcome back to Dawn and Dreams. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you would, please make sure that you like and subscribe if this video resonates with you. Um, I'm doing this reading because I was supposed to do it yesterday, but I ended up having so many readings that I had to do that I didn't have time. And I still got a lot of readings to do, but I was like, I can't wait any longer. So I'm going to go ahead and do this reading because I've been having dreams about them wanting to put out a message all right about everything that's going on right now because the world is still kind of you know still kind of up in the air um i believe today is the first of july um don't even ask me because i, I have not been checking my calendar <laughs> but um yeah i believe today is first of july so anyway this is going to be a reading not necessarily towards the complete end of the year because i feel like there's still we're still amped for a lot of change um coming in the next few months but i would like to read up until maybe maybe three months out or even four months out between now and then just to see you know what more can we expect and what we really need to pay attention to so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do, I'm going to pull some bones and we're going to get some messages on my little notes here. Major shifts spiritually that we need to know about that basically will affect our lives. And then we're going to go into, you know, a little bit about the mask that we're being required to wear in a lot of different states. Um, I don't know if they passed the law in different states where you have to have that but I believe they have. So we're going to be asking a little bit about that as well, if there's any information, because I've already heard that it is like a new kind of segregation in a sense. So it's interesting to see how this is going to play out because in some senses it should be, it can be looked at two different ways, good and bad, because I feel like there's a lot of things that are going on um, behind the scenes. Now we also need to be asking about, um, well, generally ancestor messages and what they want us to know right now. Um, I guess with police brutality or anything like that, I guess I'm just going to generally ask. I'm not going to put any... Um, I'm not going to put any projected energy on it. But anyway, going forward, uh, I just want to go ahead and throw out there, there may be two parts to this video. So if you would, you can link down in the description box just to check and make sure because some of you guys will miss the, re the rest of the information if the video cuts out. So if there may be two parts, we're just going to ride the wave and see how it goes. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. work on um, already because that's what I'm hearing before I look at the bones 
uh, our foundation is going to be very important. That's always important, but that they're pointing that out. Um, another thing is, and I do have my Spirits of the North. Shout out to everybody that bought Spirits of the North. Let me just shout you out. Um, especially everybody that received it. But moving forward, let's get back to the message. Um, we have to basically keep a solid foundation at this time. But I also seen um, arguing. Um, there's going to be a lot of things that kind of disrupt us spiritually to where we're going to feel in conflict with people. Um, yes, I like to blow into my bag. Y'all got to realize this bag is actually, you know, this is a this is a talisman that I drew. So it actually is a real talisman. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull these cards out so that we get go ahead and get a collective message but I also got some other cards that we're going to be pulling from as well There's still going to be uh, major events. There's still going to be major events that are coming. Mm. Our ancestors are trying to help us. I see some unknown spirits that are going to be reaching out. Some ancestors that we haven't been in touch with that are still going to be helping us during this time. They say don't be overstressed. Have patience. And what I mean by have patience is not just like be, you know, passive to what's going to happen. It's more so like be calm. Don't let things disrupt your peace because there's going to be a lot of things that are going to target us emotionally. For some of you, you're going to receive a lot of dream downloads, okay? Um, some of you aren't going to get a lot of rest right now, but this is an ancestor that's trying to come through and help. They say sometimes we get very, very impatient anyway. We don't see the value in patience a little bit. I mean... All of our lives, for most of us, we have been living a fast-paced life to where, look, that's why we got fast food. You know, the food industry even had to catch up to us. So you have to realize that sometimes when we go through different time periods, it's going to take a little bit for the energy to shift to something else. We're used to things, you know, happening fast or transitioning fast. But during this time of transition, this is time to get yourself together or to get everything together. They are saying be mindful because I do feel that there's going to be some higher ups that are going to try to basically say you're going to have to give in order to receive. What are you willing to give up to have this, to have what you want? Be careful over possessions. So I feel like even this is like um, even dealing with um, hmm, some of the stuff that you have, you do want to own it. Because I'm seeing the element of sacrifice coming up like you're going to like the, the negative energy is targeting that. What are you willing to give to have the lifestyle that you want? 
So I take that two ways. I take that in one sense. Don't feel so attached to a lot of things or lifestyles that you have right now because you may have to give it up. Not in a not in the worst way. Don't think of it like just the worst thing in the in the world. You know, well, for some people it could be, but I do feel that for some of you it could be stuff that you're just kind of used to. You know, don't try to have too many attachments. And if you want to have an attachment, make sure that it's something that you can have a foundation on. Make sure it's something that you can build on. Make sure that it's something that you can actually have and own. They're saying keep a watchful eye on a snake. Because they are going to try to take certain things away from you. And it's going to be like either you do this or that. And I'm going to be honest, it's coming in the form. To me, the first thing I think of is vaccines. It could go down another path, but I'm seeing the element of sacrifice speaking strongly, and that's what they're going to target next. But we've kind of already been seeing that because of if you want to go out to the restaurants you got to wear a mask you know you have to basically give in order to receive you may be uncomfortable doing something in order to get what you still want the lifestyle that you still kind of somewhat want that type of thing so there is an element of sacrifice coming up that they're targeting and i feel like it's going to be something that we really value um hmm We have the number of five. Five represents conflict and change. They're telling us we're going to have to be like a turtle. We're going to have to wear our shell. We also have another ancient spirit here. So what this represents is knowing that you can get over a time period, but it may not be easy. Um, because a turtle, you know, a turtle can't fly, so it's going to have to walk through the mud. But the turtle always has its shell in order to protect it. There's still a lot of transitions. They're saying what we need to be looking at right now is transition, being able to adapt. Because this five means conflict and change. If you're not willing to change, you're going to deal with a lot of conflict. You can avoid the conflict if you deal with the change. Hmm. They're also saying that we need to stay very grounded. Try not to fight for things that you may have to give up. Um, I'm just saying that because it's it's on it's in the shells, okay? Hold on one second. I know I'm gonna pull out my little notes, you know, in a public reading, but I feel like I have to do that for this. Major action taken to avoid defeat strain overthinking forceful action will do whatever to will do will do whatever it takes to succeed in battle mm. see. I know I'm not like touching them but I'm gonna touch this time Yeah, they're saying basically we're going to have to accept what, what we call the tower moment when everything falls down. You're just going to have to accept it and learn to rebuild on more solid foundation. Accept one's personal failures. 
using it to rebuild on a more solid foundation. A lost spirit can find, these are my words, okay? A lost spirit can find their way back to their path. Drowning in sorrow, chaos. Mm. Major action taken to avoid defeat. Strain, overthinking. So basically look at it like this. Even though they may win the battle, that doesn't mean they're going to win the war. So don't hold on so tightly to what you feel may be defeat or what you have to be, feel like you got to be subservient to. Be very, very grounded. This means that just because somebody takes away your favorite toy, don't overreact. Don't overthink it. Don't try to, you know, that's just my opinion. Don't try to go out there and uh, preach about how you want to keep it going. Some things, just let it be because we're more so looking at the war rather than the battle. Because I feel like that's where that element of sacrifice is coming in. They're going to try to start taking away some of the things that we may want to do and the things that we love to do. also seeing new beginnings here I do see that certain things are going to try to take us off our path um, the shaman bone here I don't know what it is but there's going to be a lot of needing to listen to um, elder advice listening to wisdom just try to be like I said try to be grounded and not moved by emotion because there's going to be some things that are going to come in to try to get you off your path and this is why there's going to be, um, I've I seen that in my vision, arguments, arguments, like going back and forth with people. You don't want to be doing that because it's in the bones too. Ooh, yeah, they're saying that you're going to be drained. Spirit's going to try to protect us, but at the end of the day, if you engage in the wrong investments, then you're just going to get that. It's going to be amplified. You will be drained trying to argue with folks, trying to, you know, combat people. Now, to me, I would say it's not the time to do that. It's going to take you off your mission. This even deals with relationships. Do not argue with your folks. Do not argue with your people. Try to just remain calm because they're saying we're not using a lot of wisdom, but that's going to have to change. Tap into your ancient knowledge. Keep your emotional state well, and that's going to keep your abundance well. seeing issues with love too all right so let's go ahead and look at this here i'm going to get some more messages and this still deals with major shifts spiritually major shifts uh dealing in our lives that we're going to be experiencing over the next couple of months mm. higher forms of healing and wisdom required That's why most of that's turned over. So like some of the elders are not, you know, like I said, passing messages on, not listening to the young you, listen to the old you.
because you have an ancestor speaking. It says, I sense unwanted energy. Cleanse your home with herbs and light up a candle. But this is not just for a day. This is something that you're going to have to consistently do at least once a week. At least once a week. Uh, consistently cleanse your home. Consistently you know, do your spell work. It doesn't have to be a candle. If you're not a candle worker, do whatever is best for you. Um, because they're saying higher forms of healing and wisdom required. So that means we have to stay up to date spiritually and we're going to have to start relying on more than just, um, well, I'm not going to say more than just because anything can be powerful as long as you're doing it consistently. So I'm going to say more than just one day of prayer. You're going to have to do a little bit more than that to keep the energy from shifting in your life. Okay. Um, you have responsibility for your personal spiritual development and sacrifices. So whatever for your wealth, you're going to have to be responsible for that. Your wealth, your, your health, your money, your success, your love life. For things to stay consistent for you, you are going to have to basically make sure that you're in, on top of everything. Don't slack up because basically if they're saying you're responsible for it, it's just like you go and get your own apartment. And your parents say, I'm not going to help you pay for it. What you're going to have to do is work. You're going to have to do the spiritual work. And of course, if you're working in an apartment, you do spiritual or mundane work, whatever it is. But you get the point. Basically, you're going to have to work for that position to stay in it. You also have inspired. So you have remaining focus on your creative drive, keeping your head clear. Do not have a hot head. I, I've said that in my many readings before. Do not have a hot head during this time. That's what they want you to have. The most detailed people who are really able to do some work on you are those who, who kind of move in silence. They don't, they don't rage out when they're doing something to you. Be more observative of everything that's going on around you, but still, they're saying remain focused on your goals. If you had a goal, if you had a project, if you had something that you wanted to do, now is not the time to, you know, get caught up in the warfare. Being loyal to practice is going to be very important. Being loyal to your practice, keeping up with your offerings. This will help you during this time period where you can just kind of, you know, kind of go with the change. You do have fertility, um, fertility and birth. And I actually, actually do see that as like uh, children being born. But anyway, blessings in many form, good luck, fertility and birth. So there's a lot of things that can come out of this time period. I just see relationships not necessarily being the best right now with general public and with people even close to you. You're going to have some issues with that. And it's just the energy shift that's going on collectively. You also have protection, strong will, family leader of the tribe. Listen to the leaders in your energy. Whoever, now I'm not going to say um, male or female, because it just depends on what you're working with in your, your own atmosphere. But I will say we all have masculine and feminine energy. And for me, the masculine is always the protector. My dad, he's the protector of the family. He goes out there with the war, not my mother, you know. So that's what I, I'm saying right now. The father spirit is having that protector energy. Protecting your family, protecting that. Listening to the leader. If you know anything about the leader of the tribe, the leader of the tribe has a clear head. So whoever is the leader in the family, whether it's you or be it, you know, the wife or the husband, whoever has the, the clearest head, that's the one that you want to listen to. Listen to them so that they can protect you. All right, so let's get a couple of more messages on this and then we're going to move forward.
Okay, so they're saying be practical and keep organization. Mm. Look, I told you that authoritative figure. Oh, we got a lot of cards on this one. I didn't realize that. Um, authoritative figure. Listening so that you can stay protected. And it's interesting that it says enjoying life. And that's the card that I got during my 2020 reading. That's it's interesting that we see that again. Um, because I feel like people have to take that, basically take it in a way that it means that if you keep your, because it fell right on this card. But take that as a means of saying, if you do what you're supposed to do, you still can eat your coconuts. Okay, so they're seeing change. That's, that's, that's inevitable. It says, I understand nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So just like the seasons, everything changes. And sometimes we've seen change. We've seen small change, subtle changes, and we've kind of dealt with it. But never have we seen major changes. Some of us have. The older uh, crowd that watches my video, some of you have. But for the younger generation and things like that, we haven't seen major, major shifts to where it's like it's almost affecting your whole life, you know? That's a different type of change. But change is change regardless of how big or small it is. Okay? Um, gratitude. It says, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities it presents. So take nothing for granted. Again, responsible for your own spiritual uh, development and sacrifices. You are responsible for that. Be thankful for being in this lifetime. Because regardless, we're all here to serve a mission. And for us in the Yoruba tradition, the year has just started. So we have a long way to go. But it just reminds us that every day, be thankful to be here. Don't take it for granted. Just because the world is, you know, zombies and everything else, we still got an opportunity. And we still were brought here to do certain things. So don't forget the mission. And you have indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. That, and it's funny because it's right up under, right over here with traditional healer. If you feel confused about anything, go out in nature. This card is all about reading nature. I had a bird come up to me the other day. So I, birds literally talk to me sometimes. So it's, it's interesting. But yes, those of you who don't do bone readings... Higher forms of wisdom and, and reading is still going out in nature. That is the strongest form. Even stronger than reading.